Hey, what is up, guys? This is Cobe, and this replay that I saved right here starts off in round three because that's all I saw of the game when it first joined. Deployment specialist coming out from both players, and you can see why I'm interested in this one. Assault Maxman spam coming out from blue. This is like a 1900 MMR game, which is a mess of Assault Maxman. No quick reload tech available, which I, t I, I mean, I love comboing quick reload with Assault Mode Maxman. I feel like it's just awesome. I feel like it's extremely, extremely powerful. Like, unironically. Um, especially when combined with things like Ford on a mission from an Overlord. Uh, so you can actually get your guys in. They can't get Electromag, you know. Whereas Red, who is Emiria on this side. Quite a recognized name in the community. Is going for some, like, hyper-carry Vulcan. <laughs> just like this entire thing is just crazy, dude. Scorching flames on Vulcan before they even go into range, dude. Which is just gonna torch these poor, poor Assault Maxmen. You know what's bad about Assault Maxmen, dude? Apart from, don't say everything. You know what's bad about Assault Maxmen? They're counted by so much. Which is just like a nice way of saying that the tech sucks, <laughs> I feel. Oh god, they're not gonna kill either Vulcan here. What's even left alive, dude? What's going on? Oh god, oh fuck. Get him, boys! No. <laughs> okay, well, let's speed this up, man. Oh, for God's sake. So I'm not going to lie, man. I've got an amazing Assault Maxman game uh, that I had recently to show off after this one. It's one of those rare cases where it actually works out. And, like, it's got to be said, 98% of the time, it's just not good. Oh, God, that tend to skipped over real quick. Okay, this is no deployment phase, but basically what happened is range enhancement all oh, these Maxman. Some more uh, chaff here on this side, I guess. And hackers coming out. Oh, God. Electromag hackers coming out for red. These nerds, though, with range are actually getting something done now. A little bit. They even get some levels on these guys. Which is really, really important because you do eventually want to get elite maxman with uh, assault mode. And look at them go, dude. God, look at his range, dude. Even with range because he's in the smoke bomb, he just gets... He has to match absolutely all the way in. Oh, they're still just gonna lose though, dude. They're all just going through the smoke, the goddamn hackers come and it just one-taps them. Because it disables their health pool. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this might not be one of those- oh my god. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I would've went for heavy armor, bro. Oh no, against hackers, it's just useless, right? Missile he is big. Could do something. Get this guy in. See some upgrades come out. Awesome. Just no backline defense at all. Dude, this does look like one of my games. What the hell? This all this looks all too familiar. Okay. Okay, more assault maxmen, of course. Maybe we should be like elite recruiting these guys, man. They're just being level one feels a bit questionable. Also, like, uh, just going high mobility and uh, enhanced range every single turn as well. Feels like it should probably be the play, but okay. So this pans out. This guy's going to get absolutely shredded. The Vulcan's even ready to take care of the chaff here. Because Red just knows it's coming. Okay, let's speed this along. Yeah, the replay UI is not working correctly. It's still, it, it said that uh, Blue still had like a thousand supply to spend there, which just wasn't the case. But uh, look at the devastation, dude. These guys are owning, man. The missile didn't even quite kill the hacker, which is really sad. At least they're getting some of the Vulcans dead, though. Just buy them. Take out, like, three crawlers there in one shot, dude. Huge. It's unstoppable, man. Buy them. Building goes down. Other building goes. No, oh, Shoot. Okay, nice. The hacker's actually dead on this side. Not this side, though. Okay. Once again, it's just an absolute disaster. I don't, th I don't. Is there actually any way for Blue to bring this back? I actually don't know how this game ends. It's not looking good, though. Underground threat. Coming out from red, because there's just such a huge blind spot back here. Okay. Sold off the Maxman over there now.
Yeah, like, this is definitely not Blue's actual supply count. 2,300. Okay. Ooh. Now we see the pivot into fortresses. All right. Tight. Goes here with the bubble. We get a second one down. It's pretty fine. That's a lot of supply spent. And then what? We're going to see, like, upgrade, upgrade, high mobility, maybe? I feel like high mobility is so, so important. Look at this man guarding against the... The crawler incursion, dude. Oh, blue supply is actually going down. Wait a minute, did blue just not spend anything on the round before this? Oh, plus range, plus speed. Okay, no, it must be bugged out. It must be bugged out, man. There's no way he'd save 650 here. Just no chance. These crawlers get absolutely mulched, dude. Bam! Take out that goddamn hacker. Dude. Okay, let's go team. Quick, before the, the, the hackers come and did. God. At least get this dead man. Yes. Oh. Okay, they do, it does kill the Vulcan. So he's going to be alive a little bit longer. I mean, he's going to need a lot more fortresses, though. In order to pull this off, man. Does he have the time to do this? Ooh. Ooh, dude. Come on, Shade. We're all rooting for you, man. I mean, screw it. Just get the goddamn fortress. Health doesn't matter. This is for barrier spam. Oh. Okay, we'll see what he opts into in a second. He's got a lot of uh, available upgrades here. A hell of a lot of available upgrades. My god, man. Red is so goddamn rich, dude. He's so rich. Oh, yo, yo. Is anybody picked yet? Oh, god. I got a feeling that this is bugged out. The 10's just gonna skip to uh, deployment. Like, it's just gonna skip deployment phase here, I, I swear to god. Oh, we're gonna know very soon. Alright, three, two, one, and a ton of fortresses. Oh. What the hell's going on? Okay, well I guess somebody just conceded there or something because the replay is obviously just not having it. Oh man, well alright, screw it. Let's jump into our Assault Mode Maxman replay and show Shade how to meme. And alright, let's check out our Assault Maxman action. So in this one we're starting off with aggressive crawlers, Aggressive Maxman, and even some aggressive... Oh, wait a minute. Aggressive Mustangs, and even some aggressive Maxman. <laughs> I said Maxman twice. But yeah, this is, I guess, is like the first stage to setting up some Assault Maxman action in this one. Um, I also am a huge fan, like I've already mentioned, about Quick Reload alongside Assault Mode Maxman. I feel like it just helps a lot um, because Assault Mode makes the Maxman shots have a area of splash damage and 9 meter splash radius uh, on every one of their shots. I feel like it just synergizes so, so nicely for killing off the smaller units to have that on quick reload as well. So, yeah, that's how we're going to be running it. Now, needless to say, it's much, much easier to pull off Assault Maxman if your opponent is just is just having one of those days, which happens a lot, by the way, at lower MMRs. I find that any game between like 1100 MMR and 1500 MMR, like that kind of area, that kind of bracket, you can still get mostly good game quality and you're still able to pull off, you know, these like funky, funny builds. I've never been as high as like 1600. Why? Dude, I, I, I like enter the 1500 bracket kind of range and then I just get bored of running the same crap over and over. <laughs> And then I just tank back down to like 1k MMR and I'm like, well, I guess I can't record any more videos now because, you know, I've got to farm up my MMR a little bit again. Um, otherwise, the game quality is so bad that I'm just not able to to do anything fun uh, in the games and, and have it be like a real video, you know? So, yeah, I don't know, dude. Um, pros and cons, I guess, of being at like a middling kind of... MMR range. So yeah, I continue with the aggression in this turn with some more forward positioned 
Uh, Stangs, I did consider putting them on this right side, which is going to prove to be a bit of a mistake that I don't slam them there because... Go, we get flanked on this side now, and yeah, this flank is going to be a huge problem for us. And honestly, oh god, yeah, he even flanks over here too. Honestly, I kind of just ignore it. I'm in full meme mode at this point. I'm already planning like, ooh, okay, dude, is this the game that I'm going to get the Assault Maxman up and running? Is this the game? Like, this could be it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of hoping that he goes, um... That if by going, like, a lot of Mustangs, I can bait him into going stuff that the Maxmen are going to have fun killing, you know? Uh, when they eventually go Assault Mode. That's all I'm really thinking about at this point. And so, yeah, we get kind of annihilated in this round. And this isn't the first round where we get kind of clapped, men. Um, but yeah. So Supply Specialist is obviously the correct choice here. But because we are meme lords on this channel, I'm pretty sure I just go into improve Firepower Control System. So there it is. We slam the Vulcan. This is already an Assault Vulcan, by the way, which I just really, really like. Uh, when you're going Speed Specialist, I feel like Assault Mode anything just tends to be really, really fun to play. Um, I'm I'm pretty okay with positioning qu quite far back uh, as well, just because, I mean, it has the movement speed to, um, yeah, get where it needs to go quickly enough that it shouldn't matter if it's this far back. I do sort of regret not placing it, like, here, though, instead, to be honest. Like, I knew... That there's an option that he could go into underground threat here. I, I like I knew that this was a possibility. Underground threat it usually comes down like here or here or here, right? Um, yeah. If I just place it on this side, I think it's just like superior in every way, every single time, because it will constantly defend against this. While also, if it's far back enough, it should always engage on these crawlers and still keep the tower uh, mostly safe. So yeah, whatever, dude. Positioning mistake. We ignore the flank again. Bad times. Underground threat does come out again. I don't know why I can't see my opponent's uh, deployment phase, by the way. That's just a little bit... A little bit sad. A little bit irritating. In fact, extremely irritating. Feels like it's been a bug for weeks now. Developers, come on, man. Gotta get on that. Anyway, yeah, this Vulcan kind of wiggles up. It is gonna kill a whole bunch of stuff. But if I remember right, this Maxman is just gonna be too strong. And just kind of annihilate... Oh, Vulcan before it can clean up. Which it definitely would have done against all these smaller units, but... Is what it is. And so I'm kind of in two minds right now. I mean, I'm in two minds. Do I want to go like... Okay, we know he's going to go Orbital Javelin here because there I have a Vulcan on the field, right? So it's kind of like a no-brainer for him to just pick up the Orbital Javelin, get a free kill on this. Um, extra value because my Vulcan's holding an item too. So I'm heavily expecting that. So we go ahead and pick up another Vulcan. And I'm sort of thinking to myself, okay, we Speed Specialist... You know, with the Salt Vulcan, maybe we end up going like a Vulcan carry kind of build here, is sort of what I'm thinking about as well. Um, you'll also notice that I do have Best Partner enabled too, so then I'm thinking, ooh, ooh, dude, what if we were to go? Okay. Mass Vulcan, mass Assault Maxman with Best Partner on the Vulcan, dude. So every Vulcan is producing another Maxman, dude. Wouldn't that just be incredible? Wouldn't that just be something that you just couldn't do at any game? Like, 1400 and above. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, like I say, you can get away with more stuff at these lower-ranked games, man. And this, for me, is what Mechabellum is all about, man. It's dumb stuff, dumb builds, stupid ideas, doing your best to win with them. And even if you don't, at least you had a good laugh, you know? Um. So, yeah. That's what we're doing. I think that he actually pushes really hard on this flank now. Okay, yeah. Additional crawler's armor comes out on the Arclight. Which is going to be proved to be a huge issue. He just javelin my guy. He doesn't actually get to kill all of the crawlers because of the deep tunnel. Um, they should just take less damage. Some of them get chinked down but don't quite die off. Uh, so yeah. Both buildings are going to drop. And that's horrible. My Vulcan is just going Super Saiyan on this one Arclight. Whoever's piloting that thing is going to come out like a goddamn roast turkey by the time this is done. But at least the mech is unscathed. And, uh, yeah, we lose horribly. Because I'm just ignoring a flank over here. This Vulcan should have been more central. I don't know. Probably should have placed something up on the right by now. Go range specialist, because of course we do. It's good for both Assault Maxman and for the uh, Vulcans later on. And yeah, just to try to stop the onslaught of his uh, sledgehammers and of the arc lights, um, and honestly, even of the maximum as well. I just opt into some stone callers for the time being. 
But yeah, one of the things you want to try to do if you are planning on going uh, Assault Maxman at any MMR bracket is to set them up with a Photon Emission Overlord. That to me feels so, so goddamn important, right? It's so, so crucial um, that they get that Photon Shielding effect. Otherwise, yeah, you can have like max tech upgrades in your Maxman then they get dinked by like one Electromag shot. Oh, his Acolyte doesn't have it. Okay, Sledgehammers do. Sledgehammers dink them one time for an electromagnetic shot. And, um... They basically just get one-shotted. <laughs> like, they're just not a unit anymore, you know? Electromag is such a hard counter to the Assault Maxman playstyle that, um... Yeah, you have to protect them with uh, photon emissions or it's just not going to work out. But anyways, yeah, Stormcaller's come down to counter the bulk of his force over here. Finally, I decided to start missiling these nerds on this side. Since the turn that, yeah... Extra steel balls come down over here too, which honestly, I wasn't anticipating this at all. I'm a bit surprised to see this even now. Like, that the steel balls came out over here. Just because, um... Like, I wasn't even contesting this side for, like, most of the game, you know? Like, you just didn't need the steel balls over here. Um, Nuke also drops. Which is interesting, because, yeah, we couldn't see his deployment phase at all. What's more interesting is that a lot of my stuff actually lives. Like, my, like, uh, core units. Because of the barrier and stuff. How the hell did these guys live? Were they just out of range? I have no idea how these Stormcallers survived. I'd have to watch that back again a third time. But alas, enough Stormcallers are going to live to actually just turn the tide of this battle. Even though we lose a building super, super quickly and the nuke drops, we're just somehow able to win. Um, yeah, that's, that's really it. Okay, deployment specialist becomes available. You know that we're going to pick that up. And I think I decide that this is the turn. I think this might be it anyway. Is this the turn I push the button? It might well be. Yeah, it totally is. Totally is. So we go into Elite Recruit here. Drop a ton of Maxman. I'm thinking to myself, okay, we can start to cover these flanks now. On this side. Especially because the Steel Balls came out, right? Like, Assault Mod Maxman are just really good against the Steel Balls. Um, so I'm going to take care of that. Missile will clip those guys. Maxman here, defend against the balls a little bit, is what I'm thinking. Uh, extra Ned down here. I'm trying to keep them all roughly in a similar position so that eventually I can sell one of these Stormcaller units, get an Overlord right in here somewhere, and just land a big fort on a mission on all of these guys to give them all... Um, yeah, to give them all Electromag immunity is the plan. Now that said... If I remember right, I go so greedy in this game, dude. I go so greedy, it's ridiculous, actually. <laughs> because I actually end up investing in a whole bunch of techs in these Maxmen long before going for the fort on a mission, dude. And it's like such a stupid idea. Like, it, oh, like, check this out, though. Oh my god, dude. Like, entire pack of crawlers gone in like two shots. Tight. Sweet. Oh my god, dude. You can't deny that Assault Maxman. It's pretty goddamn cool. They're so cool, dude. All that shotgun action. Okay, man, let's speed it up. Yes, dude. Huge win. Huge. Okay, our opponent actually went into some wasps as well, so they're not going to help him out a whole lot. Top spy specialist, because they have faith in myself. I think that was probably a mistake, to be honest. I think I could have just skipped here. Either which way, we're going to quick reload here. And best partner on the Vulcan. Um, I don't know if that's actually the most optimal play. Feels like probably not. Best partner on the Vulcan seems like a huge waste of supply looking back. It was like 400, 500 supply or something. For what? For two additional maxmen? That's garbage. Garbage value, dude. What I should have done here, I think was the player to just sell a Stormcaller right here and just drop uh, drop the Overlord with Fort on a mission. Instead, I'm just going crazy with the Assault Maxman. Quick reload, blah, 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 blah. The only way that Assault Maxman really work, to be honest, is if your opponent doesn't react to them super quickly. Like, your opponent should... Like, if you're ever up against Assault Maxman, dude, you've got to react right away. Right away, dude. Because if, if you let them start building extra techs, things like range in particular... Like, I, I totally think I should have went range here in hindsight. Going quick reload straight away was probably just a mistake. Um, if you don't react straight away to Assault Mod, 
they spiral out of control instantly. But if you react right away with just like electromag shots on your uh, sledgehammers, for example, or even just additional melting points with uh, electromag barrage. Oh my god, dude. Do those maxima become useless immediately? And you count as so much supply going into just one unit, you know? But hey. Oh yeah. Somehow in this round, I don't know what changed. Oh, he pulled my chaff away with the uh, deep tunnel. So the steel ball is able to connect straight away on our building, which just absolutely sucks for us. And is going to result in us just getting absolutely pulverized. Um, yeah, which is, I mean, it just feels really, really bad. <laughs> oh, man. See, I like to blame the fact that we just meme a lot on this channel for the fact that we're always floating around like the 1300, 1400 MMR-ish kind of brackets. I like to blame the memes, but really, it's just my terrible awareness, you know? Like, I should have known that Deep Tunnel was coming back up and uh, Underground uh, underground Threat, that is, was coming back up. And I should have just played around that. Anyways, here we make the cell on the Stormcaller, but because I still don't see him going into Electromag effects here, I decide, screw it. Let's just risk it for a biscuit, right? And we're just going to go range on these Maxmen right now. He doesn't have any electromagnetic effects on the field at all. So, like, he's just not responding. To the, he's just not respecting the Assault Maxman at all, dude. And so we just got absolutely ham here. Um, I decide, screw it. This is what we're going to do. And what this basically translates to is... Next turn, we get to absolutely ascend to Super Saiyan levels of power. So he goes Electromag Barrage here. It, he's going to have to go through my chaff first before he can actually land the Electromag. Uh, barrages on my guys, but check this out dude. Oh my god, dude. It's so tight Okay, these tanks actually just really really exceptionally tanky, but look at the goddamn spray of shots Just taking those nerds out Dude, Assault Maxman I think might actually be my favorite tech Might be my favorite tech dude, but as you can see um, he actually only electromags like a handful of my units uh, before we're able to um, start taking his guys out here and even though we're going to lose this quite steeply, I actually really thought that we'd get this kill here, but sucks. We're just going to live by just a smidgen of health. So even though he's reacting, it was just a little bit too late at this stage. And so we're able now to ascend to ridiculous levels of power. So I pick up a haste module here. We drop a couple of goddamn overlords. Fort on a mission comes out. So now, after playing so great, like we'd never get away with this at higher MMRs, you know? We just never get away with it, man. This is no chance. But anyways, um, yeah. His module comes down. I actually slammed this on another Vulcan over here. Uh, upgrading the crap out of all of the Maxman units. Good times. All these levels are huge. We also did click the enhanced range and high mobility buttons here as well. So it's a 15 meter per second Vulcan that we have running around. 17 meter per second Maxman. Good times. This guy's actually 20 meters per second move speed uh, on this Vulcan, dude. It's like faster than a base Mustang. <laughs> it's actually insane when you think about it. It's faster than his crawlers. <laughs> and these crawlers have goddamn subterranean blitz, dude. <laughs> oh my god. This Vulcan is just a nutter. But anyways, yeah. Always getting every possible upgrade that we can on our maxman. I've got to be honest, at this point, I'm kind of hoping that we don't win in the upcoming round. Because I'm like, oh, bro, what if I can get Assault Maxim as well on these guys? And that would be so sick. But you're going to see here that the difference that uh, that Ford on a mission actually makes. Ford on a mission, all of our guys, uh, we have a tankier front line now. Um, the maxmen don't care about anything. They're immune to these Electromags, as you can see. They're just completely shredding. His uh, tanks here for a little while, which is sweet. But yeah, most importantly, they were temporarily immune to the Electromag. Which, um... Yeah, it's just pretty tight, dude. This is pretty sick. And as such, we just absolutely butcher everything. <laughs> as you can well see. And there you go. Okay, yeah, so... Maxman, honestly. I think if you're going to use the Soul Mode Maxman... The way they should actually be used is more of a maximum spam involving um, just going range enhancement first and just use them as standard maxman for most of the game. 
I think that that's honestly much, much smarter than eventually go into quick reload and then switch your route into the assault mode later on in the game. Like you don't want your you don't want to open the door and leave the door open for your opponent to go electro mag and encounter them super super early on. So yeah, this is more of a game, I guess, or more of a video overall of how to not play <laughs> with the assault mode max, but but it's just funny that we still still were able to pull it off in this game all the same. Yes, we got lucky. Yes, our opponent made a billion mistakes. But man, it was a fun one. This is easily the most fun tech in the game. It's not even close. Yeah, they need to make more stuff like this. Dude, I want to see techs introduced that's like, turn your melting point into a, a flying disc. So that it's, so that it's like immune to like all ground units and, um... I, and you know what I'm saying? It can just like fly over enemy acid and just like just like stupid techs that just make like no sense. That's what I want to see, dude. Oh Christ! How about a tech that makes your Vulcan jump to the nearest enemy like every ten seconds, and when it lands, it just spins around in a circle like a goddamn like a Roman candle firework. It just spins, bro, just spraying fire everywhere with friendly fire enabled. You know. And then, like, when 10 seconds pass by, it jumps to another target. <laughs> oh, that's what I want to see, man. More dumb stuff like Assault Mode Maxim, man. Because this kind of stuff makes the game super, super fun to me. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all did enjoy this happy little Assault Maxman video. And I'll catch up with you all just a tad bit later, man.